Hello friends, I Anukma Singh, working as a lecturer at Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on carbocations. As we all know, carbocations these are the reactive intermediates and in my previous lecture also I have explained about that. First of all I am going to tell what are reactive intermediates. Reactive intermediates are the species that are never present in high concentration in the reaction and the reason is they are consumed as soon as they are, as they are produced in the reaction and carbocation is also one of the species. Now carbocations as the name indicate carbo and cation here carbo and a cation. Cation means a positive charge. Now carbocations these are also called as carbonium ions or carbenium ions. These, these are the positively charged species which has 6 electrons in their valence shell. Now as they have 6 electrons in their valence shell it means they lack electrons and they lack electrons they act as powerful electrophiles or we can say as also the Lewis acids. Now because they are the powerful electrophiles they can react with the nucleophiles to satisfy the configuration of carbon. There lies no non-bonding electron and here these are sp2 hybridized and the bond angle is of 120 degree and the structure it resembles to that of BF3 exactly similar to it. Now these are the electron deficient species they can they, they are being balanced by the alkyl groups. Alkyl groups if they are present with this carbocation they used to stabilize they used to stabilize their valency as you can see here. There are three alkyl groups attached to this carbon. They used to donate the electron as the alkyl groups have sufficient number of electron pairs. They donate those electron pairs to it and make it stabilize. Hence it becomes stabilized. So this is the most stable species in carbocation. Here we are having two alkyl groups and one hydrogen atom. It is little bit less stabilized. And this species, this is having three hydrogen atoms and no alkyl group. So this is the least stabilized carbocation. Now we can say these tertiary carbocations, these are most stable carbocation and the least stable are the methyl group. They are most stable because they have three alkyl groups attached to them. Now how the alkyl group it works to stabilize them? Actually they, they act in two ways. One is by the inductive effect. Now what is the inductive effect? Inductive effect is the donation of electron density to the carbon atom by the neighboring atoms or by the neighboring molecules and hence they used to stabilize it as it is hap as it happened in the case of alkyl groups. And the second is by the partial overlap of the empty orbitals with the filled orbital. Now in these two ways they used to stabilize the carbocations. That's all with the carbocations. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video lecture and for more information you can log on to gurukpo.com.